Hello YouTube, LD50 here, back with another video and today we're going to take a look around my Boston Airport Bunker and Workshop build. Uh, Boston Airport is a bit of a weird settlement because there's certain things you can't do. Uh, you can't set up shops and you can't grow food here. So it's not much use to make as a settlement. However, it is a really good location to build a secure storage for your legendary weapons and gear uh, that you don't want to lose um, and I'll explain why uh, that is as we go round um, so we'll take a tour around the outside of the settlement first so here is the settlement entrance and as you can see we have uh, skinned it with uh, or walled it with concrete walls and the concrete goes all the way around. It's not fully out to the limit of the settlement build. I think the, the settlement build limit is, you know, roughly around here. But, uh, you know, that was sufficient for the build. And if we go along here, you can see that we've also walled in this, uh, this edge as well. So we'll, whoops, we'll go back round and uh, go into the settlement. so you can see the inside of it whoops buses be getting in the way there so the entrance to the settlement is on this side uh, because that's close to where you spawn in now there is one thing about Boston or a couple of things about Boston but uh, one of the things is you can't put a fast travel mat you can't build a fast travel mat within the settlement you'll always spawn just where we where we started the video over there so uh, sadly we can't spawn straight inside but nonetheless uh, this entrance is fairly close to where you do spawn and we have a door here with a two-way electric switch so we can come in and then we can close the door from the inside locking all the baddies outside we've used a um, logic gate here to uh, be able to provide us the two-way uh, door action uh, I'll have a quick pan around the courtyard area so as you can see we're fully walled with concrete all the way around that's our main entrance to the actual uh, internal of the building now you you can put water here just about get a, um, a water uh, machine uh, water pump uh, in this corner over here it doesn't really do much it's just for the look of the thing um, just to say that you've got some water um, it's not purified water so you can't drink it without getting radiation damage but uh, I thought it was nice to to put that in and I wanted to put some defences up the top on that end anyway so that was an ideal use uh, of the space underneath that uh, um, defence position up there cooking station outside for uh, cooking recipes if we need to now we go inside and again this is a two way switch so we can close it again from the outside giving another level of security for the uh, the bunker stroke wor workshop and in our workshop we have uh, some power armor in various states of repair uh, as you can see uh, you know missing parts so I'm going to use this as a place to uh, fix my uh, power armor uh, you know if uh, I find a power armor frame that doesn't have anything on or only partial partially equipped I can bring it here and uh, we can you know use this power armor station here to uh, to fix them I have a uh, manufacturing plant which manufactures ammo and we are manufacturing electromagnetic uh, two millimeter electromagnetic electromagnetic cartridges and the reason that we're doing that is they sell for good money uh, they don't weigh anything in normal mode uh, but uh, they do have a high resale value so you know I'm playing on normal I'm not playing on survival so I don't mind I'll carry around uh, you know a thousand or so of those and when I go to a vendor I can buy stuff and then I can sell them the uh, the cartridges back uh, and come away from the deal you know without having lost any money 
Uh, obviously we've got our chemistry workstation, the main work bench, a uh, workshop bench, arm, uh, armor and, uh, and weapons benches here. Uh, we've got a clear weather mortar shell here, the, the, uh, the mortars on the roof. Uh, which we will see when we go up onto the roof. And through here I've got my robot construction station for making robots and the power generation generator for the uh, settlement here. We're going to have a quick look upstairs. So, I mean, it's very bare bones. It's just for storage. Um, because the doors are electric, um, NPCs cannot use electric switches. So no one can get in here and steal my legendary uh, weapons, my legendary armor. I think I've got my weapon mods in there. I'm not sure why I'm keeping those. And I've got a loot box here if I need to uh, to drop some loot. And we can look down into the generator room, and we can obviously look down onto the robot uh, assembly plant as well. Moving downstairs, we have two entr two back entrances to the settlement. They're both controlled by two-way doors. So we can open and then we can close again to maintain security. Uh, going up these stairs here, we've just got a little accommodation place with a, a bed in case I need to, to sleep. Uh, there's three beds, I'm not quite sure why I've got three because there's no actual settlers. Uh, but you know, needed some beds, so there's the beds. Uh, you can just about, maybe we can, maybe we can get, uh, oh we can have a look from the top just so that you can see the, uh, the back end there. So, you know, we're, we're walled down pretty much. Oh, I think I might have got myself stuck. Oh no, there we go. Thought I got myself stuck there for a minute. Uh, so we're walled down there, that's just to, uh, to cover in the um the, the the building from inside uh so that allowed us to to you know completely maintain security and then up on the top here we have a lot of turrets uh, this has never been uh, attacked uh, but should it be attacked plenty of defenses and again, over on this side, plenty of defences. Here's our mortar turret, which we uh, used uh, the switch downstairs to, to uh, clear the weather up. And then going down this stairs is another entrance back into the settlement with a two-way switch. Now, the reason I've built these uh, areas out here and, and didn't come straight across is... I believe that this door becomes active during the BOS um, uh, quest, or some of the one of the BOS quests. So I haven't done that quest line yet. So I've left this void here in case uh, you know that door becomes available. And obviously, there's one on this side as well. If you played the game before, you will know that there's also a door there. So that is my uh, Boston Airport Bunker and Warehouse, that's Boston Area Bunker and Workshop, sorry, uh, which I've just made as a secure storage for my better pieces of gear and to use as a workshop, uh, manufacturing for ammo to sell and uh, for repair of power armor. So if you have enjoyed this video, Please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel and give me motivation to make more videos. Uh, I shall be making some more settlement videos as I unlock settlements. Anyway, I've been LD50, you've been lovely, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.